Hi friends, welcome to Topper Series 2 Daily Current Affairs. This is Bhikshapati. So let us discuss about some of the important current affairs which came newspapers on June, July 1, July 1, 2020. So the importance of the July 1. So today we celebrate the, that is the foundation day of the State Bank of India. State Bank of India foundation day, that is July 1. Every year we celebrate on July 1, July 1st. And then... Uh, State Bank of India, the old name of the State Bank of India is Imperial Bank of India. So, in uh, recently, then uh, uh, competitive exam, the type of the bids are came. So, what is the old name of the State Bank of India? That is the Imperial Bank of India. And then, uh, uh, July 1st, we also celebrate as a, as a that is a uh, GST, GST day also, Goods and Services uh, Tax Day in India. So, from July 1, 2017 onwards in India, so GST is implementing. So, July 1st is a GST day also in India. And July 1st, that is a State Bank of India Foundation Day. So, State Bank of India launched one online transaction app that is called YONO. So, what is YONO, friends? You only need one. So, you only need one. This is a YONO app. This is a developed by the State Bank of India. So, uh, this is about some of the important information about the State Bank of India uh, Foundation Day on July 1st. And then uh, yesterday we celebrate, that is June 30. June 30 we celebrate as a, that is a National Statistics Day. So National Statis Statistics Day we celebrate on the, that is the birth anniversary of the PC Mahalanobis, who is called as the father of the Indian statistics. So very first time government of India started one award on the, Memorial and the service of the P.C. Mahalanobis. The name of the award is here. Professor P.C. Mahalanobis Award. This is this award is we call as the Lifetime Achievement Award in Statistics. So the person who played important role to in the statistics. So that person is eligible to receive this award. The first award is presented to former or ex RBI governor. His name is. C. Rangarajan. So, C. Rangarajan, the first person, the first recipient of the uh, Professor P. C. Malanobis Award for the year of the 2020, award won by the, that is C. Rangarajan, former governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Former governor of the Reserve Bank of India. C. Rangarajan also worked as the governor to the United Andhra Pradesh. So, United Andhra Pradesh, he also worked as the governor to the United Andhra Pradesh. So, he is a, he was a former RBI governor. So, now tell me friends, who is the present RBI governor? The present RBI governor is, his name is Shakti Kant Das. So, Shakti Kant Das is the, the present Reserve Bank of India governor. So, this uh, award is very important for competitive exams because this is the first of its kind, the first recipient of award and the, this award is started in 2021. The Professor P.C. Mahalanobis award for the year of 2020 won by the C. Rangaraja. Next, uh, that is uh, next that uh, two, uh, two persons are in the news. One is K.K. Venugopal and Tushar Mehta. So recently, government of India extended, extended their term, their tenure. So they are at, at, at present they are working as a that post, but the government of India extended their tenures, extended their term. So as the KK, the person KK Venugopal, Kotel, Katan Kota Venugopal. So KK Venugopal, the present Attorney General of India. So his term is extended by the government of India about one year. So one year, for one year. So uh, KK Venugopal, that is the reason KK Venugopal is in the news. Who is the present Attorney General of India? Like that question we are expecting. So that is the KK Venugopal 15th, 50th, 15, 15th, 15th or 15 uh, that is the Attorney General of the India KK Venugopal, for 10, cut and quota Venugopal. So then from 2017 onwards, he has been working as a Attorney General of the India. So he appointed in the place of the Mukul Rohatki. And then uh, Tushar Mehta, so Tushar Mehta, so he is term also extended uh, for three years, for three years, for three years his term is extended by the government of India, Tushar Mehta, so his designation is, is uh, uh, Solicitor General of India, so the present Solicitor General of India, Tushar Mehta term is extended for three years, actually his term, their terms are completed, their tenures are completed, 
but but government of india extended their term as uh, that to kk venugopal attorney general of india for one year and tushar mehta and the solicitor general of india for three years so that uh, two persons are in the news we have to remember their names also and then new delhi that means government of uh, that particular the delhi government so delhi government arvind kejriwal uh, that cm of the delhi uh, announced so the world the india's first plasma bank for covid 19 treatment so uh, we uh, government of the delhi started very soon will be starting very soon that is in new delhi so india's first plasma bank india's plus first plasma bank for uh, this is for the covid 19 treatment so for the covid 19 treatment so everyone everybody knows my dear friends so for the uh, COVID-19 treatment, one of the options is here, uh, pl uh, plasma therapy. Uh, the first uh, hospital, the first uh, hospital in India conducted plasma therapy, that is the uh, Lucknow, Lucknow Hospital, that is in Uttar Pradesh. The name of the hospital is here, King George Medical University. King George Medical University is the first government hospital conducted the plasma therapy for the COVID-19 patients. So, but this is the plasma bank what is plasma bank you know who are curing who are cured from the uh, particular the covid 19 that pandemic so uh, that uh, that doctors take the has taken the that uh, plasma from their body that uh, that means the plasma uh, uh, who are curing from the cured from the covid 19 covid 19 pandemic or corona that uh, disease uh, disease affected persons so cured from the that uh, disease so they has taken the that plasma from their blood and this plasma is injected to the covid 19 patient that is a plasma therapy so that is the reason uh, plasma is required so plasma is taken from the taken from the that covid 19 cured patients okay this is the plasma bank first of its kind the india's first plasma bank uh, uh, recently set up or started in which of the places that is the New Delhi. Uh, so Delhi government to take this initiation. And the uh, Delhi, the present uh, Delhi CM that is Arvind Kejriwal. So he belongs to Amadmi party, Amadmi party. And uh, Arvind Kejriwal, ex IRS officer. And then the present uh, Delhi Lieutenant Governor. So D Delhi Lieutenant Governor. The present Delhi Lieutenant Governor, his name is uh, Anil Paisal. Anil Paisal. And then uh, Maharashtra. So Maharashtra State, uh, Maharashtra State CM Uddhav Thakere launched uh, virtually video conference. One that is a world world largest convalescent convalescent plasma therapy come trial project that is in Nagpur. So. This is the world largest convalescent plasma therapy come trial project. So conduct research on the plasma therapy. So that for the COVID-19 patients. So recently, uh, which uh, which is, which which uh, city that is the world largest convalescent plasma therapy come trial project started that is the Nagapur. So where is, that is in Maharashtra. Maharashtra CM Uddhav Thakare launched this project. And uh, Union. Sports and Youth Affairs Ministry started, launched one app that is the NADA India app. So everyone knows my dear friends, nowadays we saw in the news uh, that is uh, some of our Indian athlete, athletes, some Indian players, they are in the doping. So allegations of the doping. So that is the reason, uh, that is the reason that the sports person must know the, uh, that, uh, that medicines uh, they are, uh, that is banned by the NADA or WADA. What is NADA? National Anti-Doping Agency. WADA means Viral Anti-Doping Agency. For the, for the information, for the information to the sports persons, this NADA India, India app is started by Union Sports Youth Affairs Minister Kiran Rijuju launched this program to know the awareness about the uh, that, uh, drugs that is banned by the particular the NADA and WADA. And uh, WADA, WADA means Viral Anti-Doping Agency, NADA means uh, uh, national anti-doping agency so that type of the bit also very important the ambassador of the nada is already earlier class we discussed uh, sunil shetty is the bollywood actor sunil shetty is the nada ambassador awareness campaign ambassador and then next initiation uh, that is andhra pradesh government so andhra pradesh government um, today that means today means july 1st 2020 so will be launched 
so one uh, will be inaugurated the new vehicles that will the 1088 1088 new ambulances uh, will be started by the uh, that andhra pradesh government very soon that means today 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 only that is uh, that ambulances are 104 and 108 ambulances that means uh, already some 104 108 ambulances are there in andhra pradesh so 1088 uh, so some more 1088 new ambulances of the 104 108 uh, uh, vehicles uh, inag will be inaugurated by the Andhra Pradesh CM Sri YS uh, Jalamon Edgaro on July 1st, 2020. That type of the bit is important. Recently, which state has added the 1,088 1, more that ambulances, 104, 108 ambulances in which state? That is the uh, Andhra Pradesh state. So then, Andhra Pradesh uh, that uh, CM already we discussed with Sri YS Jalamon Edgaro and Andhra Pradesh governor. The present Andhra Pradesh governor is uh, Bishwa Bhushan Arichandra. Bishwa Bhushan Arichandra. And one science and technology update is there. So that is already ISRO has uh, one uh, already ra rocket launching stations are there. Uh, rocket launching centers. The first uh, that uh, rocket launching uh, center already there. That is the uh, we call SDSC. So SDSC. Previously we called that is the SHAR. So SHAR means rear quota high altitude range. That is uh, located in Andhra Pradesh. And uh, SD, now, nowadays we call Shara is called SDAC, Sadish Dhawan Space Center. The present director of the Sadish Dhawan Space Center is Raja Rajan Armada. And uh, recently that uh, ISRO planned to the uh, uh, planned to the build the second rocket launching center that will be in Tamil Nadu. The particular place is Tutukodi. So Tutukodi in Tamil Nadu, the second second rocket launching center will be launched, will be started very soon. That is announced by the ISRO officials. The present ISRO chairman, my dear friends, we already we know, uh, Indian Space Research Organization chairman is Dr. K. Shivan. ISRO started on 1969, August 15. The headquarter of the ISRO located in uh, Bangalore. So, Bengaluru. So, the, uh, uh, what, uh, how we ex expect this, uh, this type of the bids? So, ISRO recently uh, tried to plan, that means acquire the land also to build the second uh, rocket launching center. So recently ISRO announced the second uh, rocket launching center in which state that is the Tamil Nadu, the particular place is Tutukodi. Tutukodi. So, and the first uh, that uh, rocket launching station that is uh, located in Sri Airport of Nelluru district, Poti Sri Ram Nelluru district of Andhra Pradesh, the name of the center is SDSC. Sadish Dhawan Space Center, the old name is Shah. So what is Shah, friends? Sri Ari Kota, I got you today. Who is the present director of this uh, SDSC, Sadish Dhawan Space Center, that is uh, Raja Rajan Armoga. So this is about uh, some of the information. So some of the important uh, points, important current events uh, which came newspapers on July 1st, 2020. So uh, thank you very much, friends. Uh, we will meet again tomorrow.